All right, my friends, back here today, and I wanted to just start off, and I wanted to, I wanted to just start off the video by hoping everybody is healthy and safe out there. You know, it's whatever this thing is going around, it's going around, and hopefully, hopefully, we all get through this smooth sailing. Looks like my family and I are canceling our trip to New York City, which kind of sad. We have to, we have to keep our own health as well as just finances in check because of course we live in Canada and if we had to go to the US and then something happened where we may not even get sick but if we come back and they force a quarantine or anything like that then you know two weeks minimum off of work for both myself and for my wife could financially not be good. Sure I could sit here and do all kinds of videos for you guys which is beneficial but I'd need you to watch more videos, way more videos to counter that loss of wages. And you, you can, I'm saying you can, that's, that's okay. Because of that, we're, we're gonna maybe do something a little more local during our time off. So anyways, be safe, be healthy, do what you can. It's all over the internet. Follow the, keep your hands clean, wash up, wipe stuff down, etc., etc. Today's video, we're looking at a new MP3 player. I haven't done an MP3 player pretty much ever, I don't think. But a lot of the big brands now don't make them because of course they sell smartphones and things like that. Or their their MP3 players have gotten a bit bigger. So anybody that wants something a little more portable, because really that's why you're buying just an MP3 player, doesn't want to spend a lot of money, may be interested in, in something, something like this. It's only like 60 bucks, Canadian. Let's look at that right now. Okay guys, so here it is. It is, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, my Mahdi Bluetooth 5.0. It says it's 3.5 inches, high resolution, full touch screen, built-in speakers, eight gigabytes hi-fi, lossless sound player, voice recorder, supports up to 128 gigs. So my guess is it must have uh, like a micro or SD card slot in it somewhere. 1080p full format HD resolution video. That's cool, supports all kinds of you can see it here. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put it on the screen. Supports all kinds of formats. So look away if you're looking at using this for video. But this could be really cool for a lot of us that maybe have younger children that you don't want to be getting them, you know, like a smartphone or something like that because you're like, well, you know what? I don't want to have to pay hundreds of dollars for a smartphone that I really don't want them to have. But they do want something for music or playing some games or, or even traveling around in the car so that they can maybe watch some, some videos and stuff like that. Anyways, here it is. This is it. 60 bucks Canadian. Just remember, 60 bucks. My Mahdi. Enjoy your music. That's it. That's all that's on this here box. My Mahdi. Nice box as far as boxes go, right? It's, it's, it's nice. So when you look at the screen, here on the screen, it's hard to imagine in your head how big it is. So I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, see what else is in the box. Okay, so in the box we get warranty card. I don't even know what the warranty is. Does it say? Warranty time is one year. There you go, one year. But one year, I'm not gonna go over that. One year, if you want more information, I'm sure you can reach out to them, possibly. Uh, operation guide, I guess I should look at that. Oh, it is color, that's good. Text is actually pretty decent. I'll probably give this a read, a little bit. Connect to PC, connect to charger, music. Etc. 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 Oh, there's a puzzle game. It looks like Tetris on here. Ebooks. It's gonna be small for an ebook. Photos. Well, on Bluetooth. So we'll we'll take a we'll take a gander that. And you get of course a micro USB to USB and headphones. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to these. We're gonna listen to these and see how good or bad these sound. My expectation these aren't gonna be great, but uh, we will plug in a pair of better headphones and we will plug in or hook up hopefully a pair of Bluetooth headphones. So we'll, we'll take a we'll take a, a listen to all the options. All right, so here here it is. This is this is your size right there. That's that's going to be super pocketable, right? Nothing nothing wrong with that. If you put that up against like a smartphone, here's like a an old iPhone 7 Plus. That's a big big size difference, right? That's that's tiny. Peel all this stuff off. I don't even know if there's any power in this. So there's your, what do you have for buttons? I'm guessing this is like maybe power. 
because it's the only other button on there. There's your SD card. Oh, there's your power. On, off, micro USB, headphone jack, cool. And then I'm guessing this is maybe like your, oh, it says lock, plus minus. All right, let's turn it on and play. I don't know how big the screen is. Ready, on. Put it down here so you guys can take a look. On. Oh, so the screen's nice and bright. Nothing wrong with that, that's good. You got your music, your video, calculator, record, a calculator. Well, that's handy. Nine. Let's see what the touch, let's see what the touch screen's like. Nine plus nine. Oh, I didn't get my plus. Okay, 99 plus nine equals. So it's okay, the touch screen's okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. Okay, clear that. You just gotta really make sure that you, you give it a push that you, you hit it, right? One plus one. So you gotta really push. It's not as touch sensitive. You gotta give it some a push, but you'll get used to that. Equals two. Cool. Back, back here. Video, do I have any video on this? Doesn't look like it. No file. Okay. Music, anything on here for music? Oh, it does say there's test music. All right, let's, does it have any speakers? Good morning, everyone. Oh. It's Mark Weens, and it is a very early morning here in Bangkok. Uh, we got up at 2 a.m., and we caught a taxi to Suanapum Airport in Bangkok. Actually, that's not bad coming out of the speakers in here. I wonder if you can turn it up. Let's crank it up and a bit see. Oh, wrong button. Okay, <laughs> so that's full volume. Malaysia, and it's actually right near the border of Thailand in the south. Uh, but we've that's got listenable. From Bangkok to All right, do we have any music? Let's pick number two. From Langkawi. Nope. Uh, we'll Next. Okay, there's there's music, and again, I wouldn't. It's not going to compete with like a new iPhone or a new Android phone or anything like that. But I'm actually surprised it actually even had speakers on it. To be completely honest with you, all right, let's let's do this for a second. We're gonna we're gonna plug these in because I don't want this video to be like 900 hours long because it's a 60 dollar MP3 player. So so far I'm okay with it. Let's see what these headphones are like. So if you had no headphones, no headphones at all except these ones that come with this. These are as plain Jane headphones as you can get. There's no volume controls, there's no anything. It's just in you go. So pop these in your ears and listen to some music. All right, so in they go. There's no tips. You just, you hope the size that it comes with is the size that you need. All right, ready? Well, that's actually. Okay, again, Better than I expected. Yeah, they're not like, oh, those are good. But they're also not, oh, oh, what? What happened here? No, no. Especially again, if you're just looking for something inexpensive for part of a package, ah, that's okay. That's okay. I don't, I don't mind that. Again, if you put better headphones in, I'm sure, I'm sure it would sound better. Cause that's what happens when you have better headphones. They, they sound better. Um, let's, let's plug in a pair or, or let's Bluetooth. I have some Bluetooth headphones somewhere. These ones, we're gonna, we're gonna pair these ones. Somehow in here, it says that I can, there's gotta be like a settings, right? Yeah, okay, so there's a settings down here. Black, sure, bright. oh, my brightness isn't even all the way up. I'm gonna crank that up a bit. Storage, local, SD card if you so choose. Which is cool, because if you have an SD card, I would think this would be a super fast way to be able to move music and movies and stuff. You just pop it on your SD card, make sure it's in a compatible format, throw it in there, off, off to the races. Uh, advanced, what's in advanced? Save electricity, formatting memory, card formatting, restore settings, date and time language, excellent. Uh, my equipment, maybe this is where Bluetooth would be? Nope, not where Bluetooth would be. Not advanced. Tools? What's tools? Ah, there it is, there's Bluetooth. I'm gonna pop these in my ears because I need them in here. And and these are the Blitzwolf uh, FYE7s, I think they are, which are so far one of my favorite headphones this year in regards to like earbuds, super nice. Okay, Bluetooth, ready? Turn on. Oh, it's found just something. I'm gonna, connecting, connected. Because someone had said that their Bluetooth didn't sound good. And I'm like, I don't understand how that works because I'm pretty sure Bluetooth is just digital signal being sent. So, okay, we're connected. We're gonna listen to that same song. Yeah, see these headphones sound better already.
So I don't know what the other person was talking about when they're like, oh, the Bluetooth audio sounds really bad. I'm like, okay, for one, that makes no sense because I get it if it's disconnecting or something like that, which means the Bluetooth isn't strong in either your own earbuds or here, so that connection isn't solid. But sound is pretty much entirely going to be based around the audio file that it's playing. So if that's not recorded good or if it's got extra compression on it, that's not going to help. And or the quality of your Bluetooth headphones. The, the transmission, which is all this is doing, really, yeah. No, that sounds fine. That sounds good. It's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to take these back out. Those are, those are, those are good. Bluetooth works, works like a charm. Uh, I am going to come in here before I forget, turn that Bluetooth off because I do use these headphones on my iPhone. So I'm going to disconnect you. No more Bluetooth. Come back here again, just so you can see, you have your stopwatch, calendar, a radio. Oh, it's got a radio. So if I click, does it actually have a radio? Please insert your earphones as an antenna. Okay, that's fine. But it does have one, so it does require this as an antenna. Cool, kind of neat. And what do we have last but not least? Let's see it. Records, so that's your voice recorder. There's your calculator. We have games. Oh, so we got Tetris, Horong Road, Sudoku, Rolling, Rolling Thinking, Frog Prints, Jumping Balls. That already has my attention right there. 2048, Disappear. So let's, uh, let's, okay, Jumping Balls, it's, it's happening. Oh, it's one of these where you, you have to jump your, jump your balls. So I think this one can only go there, right? And I'm pretty sure it's, nope. This one to here, All right? This one to here, this one to here. Oh, winner! That's all I'm doing. Got the first one. Exit. Cool. So that's all right. There's some little games on there because you don't really have like an app store or anything like that that they threw in some stuff. That's cool. Again, you have photos. Um, you have a little calendar. You know, that's that's good. That's all right. Again, I think for sixty bucks, this is kind of like on par if you were to go back a couple of years to the iPod Nano, I think it was. Kind of the same form factor, it's a little, little thicker, but the iPod Nano at the same point really was a music player that had the ability to do little things like play some video and had a couple games on it. And this is what this is. And the iPod Nano, when it first came out, was a hundred and change dollars. Number one is that it, bigger screen, for sure, and number two is that it does take an external SD card. So you can put a micro SD card in there and you could carry a whole bunch of you if you really wanted to just have a bunch of movies on there or a bunch of music or whatever, just throw it in there. Just make sure that you know, you're know you running one of these formats that are compatible, which seems like all the big ones, right? AVI, MKV, WMV, MP4, MPG. Yeah, we're good, full HD, 1080. Yeah, that's excellent. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. That's, you know, it's it's 60 bucks, Canadian. I'll see if I can find it on the US and the other Amazon pages as well, because, hey, if you're quarantined, you need to be able to do something in the old bedroom. I came out weird. While you're alone, still kind of weird, I guess. Hello? I said don't disturb you, I'm cleaning my room! And you want to watch a movie. There you go. You want to watch a movie and, you're, and you don't have your smartphone with you. Yeah. All right, guys. Anyway, link down below if you're interested. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Be safe, my friends. Stay healthy. Later.